The Boeing 777 navigation system consists of multiple subsystems including but not limited to the VOR system, the DME system, GPS, ILS and the weather radar systems. In this video, we will learn the theory of operation and the architecture of GPS system. Moreover, if you are preparing for IASA module 13 or module 11, then this video might be helpful in understanding the GPS navigation system applications. The GPS architecture consists of three segments. These are the user segment, the satellite segment, and the control segment. Let's first understand the basics of user segment. The user segment consists of the components installed on the Boeing 777 aircrafts. The two GPS antennas are installed at the top of the fuselage and are called the left and the right GPS antennas. The GPS antennas receive L-band frequency signals and send them to the multi-mode receivers or MMRs. The GPS antenna impedance is 50 ohms. This is the schematic diagram of a GPS system in Boeing 777. The multi-mode receiver, also called the MMR, is the heart of GPS system. The left MMR is located in the E1-2 shelf. The center MMR is on E1-3 shelf and, and the right MMR is on the E2-3 shelf. MMR uses the satellite data to calculate the latitude, longitude, altitude, universal time, date, north-south velocity, east-west velocity, vertical velocity, track angle, autonomous integrity limit, satellite position and MMR status. The power supply makes various AC voltages from the 115 volt AC input to the multimode receiver. The MMR sends 12 volt DC on the center conductor of the antenna coax to the amplifier in the GPS antenna. Now let us understand how the satellite signals are processed. The low noise amplifier inside the multimode receiver receives and amplifies the satellite signals from the GPS antennas. The receiver detects the satellite signal and sends it to a digital to analog converter. The digital to analog converter sends the digitized signal to the microprocessors. The microprocessor then calculates the airplane position and other GPS data. The GPS data goes to the flight management computing function in the left and the right AIMS cabinet. The MMR makes time mark pulses once per second. The time mark pulses goes to the AIMS cabinet. The left and right MMR send position and time mark data to the left and right AIMS cabinet. The GPSSUS also send position data to the ground proximity warning computer. The GPWC uses this data in its terrain awareness and terrain clearance floor functions. The satellites transmit to the MMR in the airplane on the L1 and L2 frequencies. The L1 frequency is 1575.42 MHz and the L2 frequency is 1227.6 MHz. The satellites downlink satellite status data to the monitor stations on 1783.74 MHz, whereas the upload stations send information to the satellites on 2227.5 MHz. Now let us understand the working of a control segment. The control segment has control and monitor stations on Earth that continually monitor and track the satellites. The purpose of the control segment is to monitor and correct a satellite orbit and clocks. It also calculates and formats a satellite navigation message. This message has up-to-date descriptions of the satellite future positions and a collection of the latest data on all GPS satellites. It also updates the satellite navigation message regularly. The control segment has one master control station and five monitor stations. Three of the monitor stations are also upload stations. The master control station is in USA. The master control station is the operation center of the GPS. The master control station controls all operations in the control segments. The master control station has an atomic clock. This clock is a reference for the GPS. The monitor stations receive the same information from the satellite that the MMRs in the airplane receives. The monitor stations record the accuracy of a satellite clock, collect and relay to the control station meteorological data such as barometric pressure, temperature and dew point. 
The master control station uses this data to calculate the tropospheric signal delay. The monitor stations also continually measure the ranges to all visible satellites. The master control station uses this data to calculate and predict the satellite orbits. The monitor stations are located at Ascension Island, Colorado Springs, Diego Garcia Island, Hawaii, and Kawajalin Island. The third and the last segment is the satellite segment. The satellite segment is a group of satellites that orbit approximately 10,900 nautical miles above the Earth. Each satellite completes an orbit approximately once every 12 hours. There are 21 operation satellites and 3 spares. The satellites continually transmit radio signals with navigation data, range code and the exact time. For more lectures on Boeing 777 type training, keep watching the Hash Academy.